Welcome back, Warriors. Back with another episode of <laughs> back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2. And today we're gonna focus in this video on uh, a quote that I loved that I saw somewhere, and I thought it was in a video or something like that, called The Better Version of Yourself. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit and how Ringo talks about all the things we've been talking about in this journey that I've had and that a lot of people are taking in trying to be the best person they can become. So before that, let's go ahead and uh, subscribe, like and comment, and support our channel. Uh, we focus on the health and betterment of, of all people. I mean, we have a lot of, we have some female listeners as well as male listeners. And uh, I think everybody wants to have strong people. I focus on being a strong male, but strong females are also very important out there in our world. And we need to have both of those type of things, but we need to have realize as both energy is masculine and and feminine, and there's reasons for both, and we need to recognize those and not lose those in our transition. And I see that a lot in my in society and dealing with a lot, especially a lot of younger people. That uh, and I'll focus just on the males here a little bit, uh, not having that leadership quality, not having that strength, and maybe part of it that they were brought up. Uh, with one parent not having a, a sufficient male role model and as, as great as, as single moms do and I'm not putting anybody down uh, but they just it's just hard for them to approach it from a male viewpoint and I think that's what you need some real male role model so at some level a male needs to have a male role model to be able to kind of say well how should I act as a male and because we don't have a lot of that going on a lot of these these males are not acting that way and um, you know they're becoming too what I call wishy-washy, not very strong in their opinions, not really providing a lot of leadership in relationships or in their lives, and not having a lot of goals and things they want to achieve and things that they want to continue going forward on. So it's really important to kind of focus on that and be able to do that. So the better version of yourself is, I think, an important type of concept to think about. So before this journey, uh, you know, I had done some things, you know, I finished a doctorate, I finished some things, I was able to persevere, I learned about the Fountain of Youth, and, uh, and that was all good, and I, I highly would recommend, certainly, you know, increasing your education, doing things I played on, you know, I played on championship football teams in high school, and, and the one in college, and, and I did a lot of those type of things, and then they were successful, I, I've learned a lot from other people. I've learned a lot of different things over time, and uh, you know, as I'm sharing these type of things, a lot of that comes from that type of learning. But what I did learn, most of all, was I was not the best version of myself. Through all of that, through all that living and having a, a great wife and, and great kids, uh, great family, all those type of things and great jobs that I've had over the years, uh, I was still not the best version of myself. And what am I meaning by that? Well. Your best version is something that I think God has intended you to do, to be. And if you're spending time chasing what people think is the important things out there without coming to your individual purpose and something inside of you and focusing on that, then you're really not becoming the best person you can be. Now, I'm not saying the person that makes the most money. I'm not saying the person who has the best body. I'm not saying the person who has the best education. Those things are important, but not really all that important, right? Because when it comes down to it, the things are all material. And those things are things that are not going to be something that's going to be something you can take with you into the, you know, as you pass away, you're not going to take those things with you. And that's a mistake a lot of people make through the history of time. You know, even buried treasures with Egyptians and uh, people over the kings and you know those things over the years because they thought people could take them with them but they can't and, and once again remember guys everything is energy everything is made up of energy and matter and it cannot be destroyed and so even though you're talking about something we end up something happens to us when we pass away but you want to become the best version you can become and based on that what you're talking about and the best version you can become is somebody who is at the best focusing on their interpersonal something inside of them and so as you look at this 
the inside person comes from you recognizing who you are recognizing your purpose recognizing where you're going and I even though I I, I was able you know bless be the Lord accomplish a lot of things and do some things in my life that I reflect back on and say this you know that was nice that was nice but I wasn't happy I wasn't feeling like I was fulfilled and this is something that some of the younger guys may look at and hopefully take this and uh, kind of run with it at your early age and kind of think about how I can implement this into my life. But I wasn't at peace. I wasn't somebody who was okay with whatever happens. You know, I had faith, but not to the level where I have it now. And a lot of it goes back down to the journey that I'm on. And this journey of self-control, self-discipline, obviously started with harnessing all my energy that I was throwing away and not realizing it. You know, we listen to the society we live in, and it's great to go ahead and chase, um, I'll take the male perspective, chasing girls around and basically just not caring and just having intercourse with them anytime you want to and just rise, what my fr friends say, is the body count, keep it up, and it doesn't really matter. Well, I think it does matter. I think it matters from a lot of st standpoints, but I think losing your energy is a key thing I think it, it destroys you mentally. It destroys you physically eventually, right? You may not feel that as a younger person, but as an older person, I have felt that. It just basically kind of makes you weak. There's no reason that in my mind that you shouldn't be getting to all kinds of illnesses and things if you don't retain, you know? And, and that makes sense because your body becomes weaker, as we talked about in the previous video. If you focus so much time, uh, your body's focusing on time to re reapplying or repairing that energy you lost, well then it's not going to be able to take care of things in the body. That's why I think intermittent fasting and retention together is a tremendous dynamic combination because your body is focusing on trying to repair things. If you're not focusing on digestion and eating, and you're not focusing on trying to repair that, that energy that you lost, it's going to focus on repairing you. And I believe that in a very strong way. Do I have scientific pro proof? No. But I have personal proof to me that my life has changed a lot because of it. Um, and and you act and, and look a lot different. And, you know, there's a glow in your eyes, glow in your face, all those things because of that. So when you keep your, you keep your energy inside of you, and you can then transmute that energy, and we talked about that before, and you're able to control yourself more, so you're not just kind of like roving eyes all the time and you're focusing on your direct purpose and what you want to accomplish, you're going to have obviously people coming at you in all directions. But the key is, is that you're staying so focused on your, your purpose that you become better and better at it yourself. And then you become someone who really knows how to create things and they are single focused on their purpose, not being distracted by all these other things around them. And as you do this, then you're focusing on becoming a better person, you know, a better version of yourself. Because you are a great person, and we all have this. So I, uh, even people who may be under the beta category right now can be very quickly change their tune and change into the sigma male or the alpha male because of their energy, keeping their energy, harnessing their energy, using it, not just sitting around, not just sitting around the corner, right, looking for, for girls, right, not just sitting at the computer and uh, just kind of watching images and looking for those type of things, right, that is a huge danger. Now, you know, people may get upset with me for saying that because it's a huge money maker, but it destroys people's souls and destroys people's bodies and minds. And so if you want to become the better version of yourself, you have to avoid those things. And I think I gave a recommendation in the last video on that too, focusing on the two second rule, focusing on getting away from these type of things. And if people come with you, sometimes you kind of flee. I think I did one of those too. I flee a temptation, get away. If that's the last resort, get away from it. Because the key is going to be, it's going to help you more in the future to basically focus on how can I become the best person I become, right? And if you look at the best version of yourself, you are changing yourself, evolving day by day. And the longer this goes on, the stronger you are, and the more 
and the better version you become yourself. Okay. So again, guys, I think it's really important to realize that if you start with that foundation of retention and you continue your journey, you know, and try to get as long as you can. And if you relapse, go back again. I mean, I've been through that myself. Go back again. Try it again. Keep going. Keep trying to learn how to do this. Your body will tell you eventually how to do it. It took me a long time. So hopefully it doesn't take you 57 years. <laughs> but hopefully you can do it in a short period of time, right? But guys, that's the whole key to it. Focus on trying to gain control yourself. Learn self-control. And then you can transfer that to other things and eventually be able to deal with any kind of situation you see and not be caught off. And once again, do not let those birds kind of make a nest in your head. So now you're looking at trying to do other behaviors. All right. So I hope this helps a little bit. Once again, become the best version of yourself. Until next time, battle on.